Now, the United States government has reaffirmed its commitment to helping African companies by providing access to investment opportunities and capacity building initiatives. At the start of a two-day USAID Africa Trade and Initiative activity on the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, AGOA, hybrid training workshop in Lagos, Consul General of the U.S. Consulate, Will Stevens, said this while highlighting the importance of strengthened trade relations between the U.S. and African countries. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedekun tells us more in this report. The workshop attracted a varied group of government representatives, business executives, and aspiring entrepreneurs who were keen to explore the advantages of the African Growth and Opportunity Act, AGAO. All through the session, specialists provided essential knowledge on managing the intricacies of international trade, highlighting effective strategies for exporting goods and securing foreign investment. The Consul General at the U.S. Consulate in Lagos, Will Stevens, underscored the United States' commitment to creating a conducive environment for innovation. The third largest economy in the world is just the state of California. I think Texas is the seventh largest economy and New York is like the ninth largest economy. So when you get access to that U.S. market, duty-free, sort of a, a unilateral trade concession that we're giving, you're getting access to a quarter of the global economy. So if you can get 1% market share in New York State, that's bigger than almost the entire economy of Nigeria. The workshop featured a series of expert-led presentations focused on best practices in trade, investment strategies, and navigating regulatory frameworks. Nigeria producers and manufacturers have a unique opportunity uh, to gain access to the U.S. market, 33 again, getting their products a competitive edge. However, uh, relaxing this potential uh, requires satisfying the requirements such as compliance with U.S. regulations. Removing whatever it takes, it would take to make our small businesses grow. And we're a marking form, zero collateral, zero digital interest loans for our small businesses to try. Right? We are now, even just last week, NEPC lost the Agora Exports Training Center in Apapa. At Smena, we're doing the same thing. But we can't do all these things and get ready. And then it's time to let it go to the US and the first orders they do not even know about the board. In her address, Chakwana Tesley emphasized the importance of understanding AGAO eligibility requirements for African businesses seeking to export to the U.S. IOR, IOR stands for your importer of record. If you're interested in doing business in the U.S. market, most of the time, the buyer that you're going to do business with in the U.S. is going to be your IOR. They hold a great deal of responsibility, but they're expecting to partner with you where you take on your responsibility too. Tesla also provided critical insights into U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, regulations. An engaging question and answer session followed where participants sought clarifications on specific challenges they faced in exporting to the United States. I'm here to learn how to um, properly document, um, understand what the requirements are from AGUA so that we can benefit from the tax-free or tariff-free um, partnership that we have with Nigeria. Is the actionable aspect of it. We, we are done talking. We should walk the talk. You attend events, for our programs, workshops like this, you get to build capacity. When you get to build capacity, you're building knowledge. When you build knowledge, you know the right things to do, you know the right steps to take, and then you're able to measure up success, and you're able to meet up with the requirements that are expected for you to succeed. With initiatives like this, USAID continues to play pivotal role in strengthening trade ties between the U.S. and Africa, paving the way for a more prosperous future for both regions. Love, Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.